booty to the With another video, you already read the title. This is my top 10 brands of shirts at Ross, Burlington, Goodwills, and Marshall. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you um, the shirts. Um, I'm not gonna show you the actually shirt, I'm gonna show you some pictures of the shirts. Uh, so, this is my opinion. So people be asking me, hey, what is the top five? What are the top ten? What kind of brand should I look when I go to these stores? So right now, I'm only going to show you top ten shirts um, of Ross, you know, Marshalls and all that. Maybe I'm going to make another video about pants, sweaters, hoodies, jackets, shoes, top ten. So look out for that, my people. So people be asking me. The stuff that I have in the back, that's my inventory. I have a little room here that I put my inventory. Look out for that video because people be asking me about, sh um, they, they want me to show them my inventory. So I'm going to do that. It's like a little room that I come and I record. And I mean, it's enough for my inventory, but I'm still going to show it to you. Be aware, my people. Be aware. So I am excited for this video. I'm going to show you the top 10. It's going to be a countdown. Like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So let's do this, my people. Get some goodies. Get some candy. Get some ice cream. Call your neighborhood. Call your uncles, your grandpa, your mama, your daddy, your cats, your dogs. Call the president. Call, you know, the, call the, the New England Patriots. Call anybody you want to come and do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to give me a thumbs up and do not forget that this year my people we want to get to 10 million subscribers yeah <laughs> 10 million subscribers this year we can do it i know i believe we can do it my people so say now that wait wait say, say now that let's get to our top 10 brands and let's do this all right my people so let's do this this is number 10 so number 10 is it's gonna be dc comic shirts uh ross goodwill burlington and, and marshall's that have a lot of dc comics so i buy them a lot um they can go to a range to 20 to 30 bucks depends of the character let me show you some examples right now so um i'll show you an example of those shirts so like that, I mean, you can look them up when you go to Ross or, you know, when you go to Burlington and find these DC comic Marvel shirts. If they're in a good, good buy, what I mean, like they're like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Uh, when they're in clearance, you can get them. People buy them. You know, DC comic, it's a famous, you know, comic book and they still make toys and all that. So look out for that brand. DC Comic Marbles, they have women's shirts, they have kids' shirts, they have men's shirts. So they have everything, even they have sweaters. So look out for that brand, DC Comic Marbles. Like I said, look out for that brand, it's good. And if you get it, if you get them at a good price, you should make that profit. So that's number 10 right there. My uh, people, this is number nine. So the Number nine brand is gonna be Columbia. Say it with me, Columbia. Columbia is a brand that they make good, good material brand. Columbia is like a, they do make exercise shirts, they make camping shirts, and they make hunting shirts, like going hunting, uh, camping, or exercise shirts. Um, let me show you a couple of, you know, pictures so you can see how, how the brand look, you know. They have like a little logo right here and they say Columbia. They do have jackets and pants and all that too, but um, I'm showing you the shirts right now. So um, look for those when you go to Ross, you know, Goodwill, Marshalls, and Burlington. If you get them at a good price, get them, cop them, and sell them for profit. So number nine, it will be Columbia. This is number ocho, number eight. So number eight will be Spider. That brand is really, really good. I make a lot of money in that brand in the past, in the few years. The first time that I learned about Spider, that was a Goodwill. 
Um, there was a lot of shirts there that I bought that I took a chance. No one told me about that brand. I just had to learn by myself. So, but uh, when I took a chance at that brand, man, I was like, wow, this brand made money. And then I, you know, I started buying more and more. And then when I saw it at Ross and Burlington, um, I, you know, I just got them. And, you know, I still, because in Burlington and Ross, they have the tags, you know, so they were brand new. So that's why I got excited. So this brand, they make shirts almost, I mean, the, the whole company um, it's around uh, They make a lot of stuff about snowing, you know, you know You're gonna go to the snow big bear or whatever uh, Look out for their jackets because they have a good good great uh, Selection about jackets, but right now we're talking about the shirts, you know, and they still have a selection about the shirts You know, um, let me show you some pictures right now. So um, Like I said if you see them in a good price get them cop them um, you know, if you get them like a six, seven, or five dollars, you can make at least like forty to forty-five dollars. It depends of the shirt, of the logo, of the material, you know. But no matter what, this is still a good brand. That's why I put it in my top eight. So, top eight spider. And when you see it, get it. You will not be, you know, and you will not be sorry that you got that brand. So. That's your number eight right there. Number seven. And number seven, we're gonna have Levi's. Everybody know Levi's already. Everybody, you know, if you get them in the pants, you get them in the sweaters, or you get them in the shirts, you know what I mean? So, um, I put Levi's in the top seven because they kinda went a little bit down. It just depends on the market. But you still can make good money on Levi's shirts. Here's some pictures, you know. So, I always buy Levi's, especially at Ross. I always get them like a dollar, two dollars, or three dollars on the clearance sales. Always gonna remember that. Always get them on the clearance sales. So, like I said, you know, they will get you, you know, some 20 to 25 dollars depends of the shirt or of the logo you know brand new still so if you get them like a three or four dollars that's still a good profit you know twenty five dollars to twenty dollars like i said the market went a little bit down because it's a lot of inventory it's a lot of people have them you know that's why they went a little bit down but you still can get some money for the levi shirts trust me you still can get them so my top seven will be levi's shirts top six so this is kind of confusing it will not be too much confusing my top six will be sports shirts it could be nfl nba college um nhl whatever any sports shirts will make money it just depends of the season it depends if the season like to, right now we have basketball and we have hockey Football's gonna end already, but you know who's coming back? Baseball's coming back. So Ross, Burlington, and all that, you know, Marshalls, they are gonna they're gonna start getting all that baseball shirts, sweaters, and all that. If you get them in a good price, get them, people. I'm telling you, because if you get them now, like every, last time that I went to Marshalls or Ross or Burlington, I did sell some baseball stuff already. But I'm telling you, sports shirts always sell even 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 the you know you know like an example uh los angeles rams they're already out of the playoffs right now it's only new england and the eagles but they still buy me some sweaters some shirts about you know los angeles rams but no matter what a sport shirts always sell um i'll show you some pictures so you can see um uh, what, what what kind of shirts you know logos you know so, if you get them on a good price, like five dollars, four dollars, depend of the team, depend you know what it is. People want them, and the, and the people it's always gonna be fans that want their you know shirts. Especially when the baseball's around, you you will make good profit if you get them on a good good deal. So my top six will be sports shirts. So we are a number five. Uh, my number five will be. So this was kind of a challenge. So 
Uh, but I think I got this right. My number five, my, see, this is my opinion, you know, all the history, all the years. So my number five will be Norse Face. This is a really, really good brand. The same, they make a lot of snowing gear, a lot of snowing jackets, backpacks, camps, but they have, their shirts can cost to 50 to $60. Depends, you know, of the market. But when every time I get a shirt about this brand, North Face, um, I always sell it like 40 to $45. And I do get the shirt like three or four dollars. So it's a big, big time of profit right there, you know. So look out for this brand, North Face. Um, I'll show you some pictures of the shirts. So you can see a little bit how they, you know, the logo and the shirts have made. So you always see North Face at Ross, Burlington, or Marshalls, even Goodwill, you know, brand new still. But like I said, if you get them on a good, good deal, you can always make a top of profit. So my top five will be North Face. There we go. Well, our number four brand will be Pumas. This brand been here for a long time. Um, I find a lot of good shirts at Raw, especially Goodwill. Um, the Pumas brand been here for a long time. I mean, it, I mean, been here. So here's some pictures of the. You know Puma's brand. Um, I make a lot of money in this in this brand. You know you can get them a, go, a Goodwill or Ross, at uh, or even in the clearance section. I find them like a dollar or two dollars. I mean, I know, huh? So they always have them. That I mean Puma's. It's a big company, you know. So, but you can make good money on the shirts. It just depends, you know, the sizes, what kind of color, uh, what kind of logo they have, because they have a lot of logos, you know. So look out for that brand, Pumas. Get them if you see them in a good if you see them in a good price. Get them, and you will get at least like depends, like I said, forty to thirty dollars. But it's still it, it depends how much you pay for them, you know. So our number four will be Pumas. My number three. Uh, top, you know, top shirt. My number three will be Adidas. Adidas, I mean, every time you see that brand, people are wearing it more now. You know, here's some pictures for you can see. I make a lot of money in Adidas shirts, a lot. Um, so when you see them, get them. Um, when you see them in the clearance, get them. When you see them at Goodwill, Marshalls, or Burlington, get them. So, like I said, their Adidas is, is kind of good because now a lot of soccer teams, a lot of, you know, famous players like Messi, um, they promote it now. So, a lot of people, a lot of young people uh, be wearing, you know, a lot of Adidas. So, you know, like I said, they can make you like, to like 50 to $60 at eBay. So, when you see that brand, if you get them at a good price, get it and you will make profit guarantee. So my number three brand will be Adidas. A number two brand will be Under Armour. It was kind of challenge, but I think I got this right. Under Armour been here for a long time and they just, man, they just got there on the top now because a lot of basketball players were, I mean, they promote their brand now. Under Armour, you know, like Curry, um, he got a big contract with them and other players too. They make a lot of exercise shirts, a lot. I mean, that's almost the business about exercise, you know? So when you go to the gym or you see somebody running, they will have Under Armour logo. Here's some pictures. So a number set, I mean, num num number of those will be Under Armour. Um, I mean, Ross have a lot of top, a lot of Under Armour, including with Burlington and Marshalls and Goodwill. They have a lot, so you always get, you always gonna see Under Armour on the clearance section for like five, four dollars, three dollars. In my area, that that's how much they go because they have a, a lot. I don't know about your area, 
but if you get them in that price, you always should get them because people always buy them. People always buy them no matter what. Almost all my inventory is under armor. Almost 70% is under armor. Almost all my store have under armor. You know, I love it, but that was number two. So become number one all right my people thank you if you stay all the all the way to number one i appreciate it so this is my number one brand that you should always look out i mean you should know this already but my number one will be look at my shirt nike that brand be here for a long long time i mean nike been here since i don't know the 90s the 80s i guess but um when you see those shirts get them people wear them people work out on those shirts of course you know because nike is everywhere now in basketball football baseball hockey you know when people promote it you know so people like that brand especially the really really good material um i have almost like 20 percent 30 percent of my inventory nike um look at my store so but these shirts are really, really good. I mean, they have shoes, they have pants, but right now we're talking about shirts. So look at the pictures that I put. So um, you will make a lot of money selling this brand Nike. Uh, if you get them in a good deal, like I said, uh, Ross, they have them a lot. Goodwill have them. Almost all the stores have Nike. So, um, but if you do, Get them in a good deal, that's good for you, especially if you get them brand new and with the tags. So a number one will be Nike. And yeah, my people, I hope you enjoy the top brand shirts. Um, this was my opinion. Um, I did study all this. And so thank you for watching. I appreciate it and beware of the other videos. I, I will make top 10 shoes, top 10 pants sweaters hoodies um about ross burlington and marshall's and goatwell so thank you and until next time my people i will see you later alligator